Hey everybody, welcome back to the kitchen and another cooking video. Today we are going to make some tasty queso, um, which you can have when you have guests over or when you're hosting a small event like a football game. Pair this with a nice local craft beer um, and you will be good to go and your guests will also love it. Alright, before we get started and turn on the stove top, let's talk a little bit about the ingredients. Sitting in front of me, I have a few simple ingredients. I have one and a half cups of cheddar cheese. I have one cup of diced tomatoes. I have one half of a cup of diced onions. Also, I have 6.5 ounces of evaporated milk which if you go to the store, make sure you get evaporated milk and not condensed milk. Otherwise, you'll be going back to the store. Is it kapa -ah -ah or kapa -ah -ah -ah? I have two cloves of garlic, minced. I have one half of a tablespoon of all-purpose flour, one and one tablespoon of butter. Some of the optional ingredients that I have, I'm going to have green chilies um, to taste. So as much of this as you want, if you want a little more spicy, then go for more. And finally for garnish, freshly chopped cilantro. All right, everyone, let's move this over to the stove and see what we can do. Speed is of the essence. I've moseyed over to the stove itself, turn it on. Um, I've got it on a low heat, just in between low and medium, um, depending on your stove um, and depending on your experience. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to add in a little bit of butter. I'm gonna add in our garlic, our minced garlic cloves, and I'm going to add in our finely diced onions. And finally, some salt. I'm going to take a spatula and I'm going to mix that up really nicely. You want to let your nose be your guide so you'll really start to feel the pungent smell of, of the garlic if it's cooking well. Um, and it takes normally about three minutes for this, this step. So I think we're just about ready now. So let's add in our cheddar cheese, our evaporated milk. our diced tomatoes, the green chilies, and our all-purpose flour. We're gonna save our cilantro for our garnish on the top. Salt and pepper as well. A little bit less salt this time around. And then some pepper. All right. And let's give that a good turning with our spatula. Making sure that it all cooks evenly. I'm gonna take the temperature up just a slight bit. This thing's a little bit too creamy and you wanna thicken it up a little bit. Um, one thing that you can do is you can add um, a little bit of cheese just to thicken up that consistency. So use your own judgment. I'm gonna take maybe just a pinch. Um, because you can never go wrong with too much cheese. Is that cheese? Have you eaten cheese? How much cheese have you eaten today? How much cheese is too much cheese? Any amount of cheese before a date is too much cheese. So for me, this is looking really good. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and turn off the stove and we're going to serve this. Finally, we can garnish. So we're going to take our cilantro, our nice cilantro. Put them on the top. We're gonna also add in some tomatoes for a garnish. Very nice. And maybe something a little bit extra will be to add some cotija cheese as well. Generous amount. All right, that is looking really nice. And again, you can't have enough cheese, so there we go. Beautiful. What is it, Diaz? That's cheese. What is this, Diaz? That's cheese. And this, what is this? Cheese also. And what is this, well? That's cheese. All right, this is looking really good. I hope you guys enjoyed the process. Um, I can't wait to give this a try. I hope that you give it a try yourself and give me a comment down below and let me know how yours came out. Also, how much fun you had making this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click on that subscribe button. 
and I hope that you got something useful out of this video. Thank you and cheers. Bye everyone. Okay, and now for the real test. Um, let's give this queso a try. Oh yeah, mm. that's the stuff right there.